hi guys welcome back to my channel technology and today in this video tutorial i will show you guys how to create your own vpn under aws with the help of open vpn so i will show you step by step so you just need to follow me so first of all as you can see here is my aws console and you just need to download this three, uh, two software which is winscp so i will give you the link to my video description so just click on download now and also you have to download a uh, uh, putty from here just click on download winscp from here and after that you have to download this tool which is putty okay so just go to this website and click on uh, install our msi so 64 bit so in my case my operating system version is 64 bit so i will download this 64 bit version so click on save and also this one also click on save so after download i will go to the go to under download folder so here is the two software as you can see so i will install one by one win scp first click on install yes now click on accept next next install Now click on uh, open, uh, just uncheck this option, open getting started page. And another one is Putty, which is showing over there as you can see, Putty R64 bit version installer. So I will download this one also, it means install this one also, click on next, next, and then install. Click on yes. After that, just click on this finish button. So once it is download on your computer, you just need to open uh, this GitHub link uh, to your computer. Okay. So now you have to go to your AWS uh, management console window. So after login your window, just click on EC2 from here. Okay. So now uh, I will click on these instances. And under instances, I will I have to click on these launch instances so wait for wait for a few seconds just it's loading as you can see click on launch instances and here i will select a uh, operating system ubuntu okay just type over the ubuntu and press enter and you will get all the version of ubuntu so i will select here ubuntu server 20 which is free tier eligible so 64 bit 86 x86 click on select now here make sure that you have selected t2 micro free tier eligible okay now click on next configure instances click on add storage and after that click on add tags and security group policy now here you to click on this add rule and after that go to uh, all udp okay and custom from here anywhere you have to select okay now click on review on launch now click on launch and here you have to click on create a new key pair and i will put over there key pair name like technology now click on download key pair save after save the pem file dot pem file click on launch instances now what you have to do you just need to click on open folder which you have downloaded the pem file now go to your start menu and search over there putty gen so as you can see here is the app so open putty gen now click on load go to your download folder select here all files now select that technology pm file in my case uh, you have to download that i mean select that pm file and after that click on open now click on ok now click on save private key click on yes now you have to select your location where you to save your dot uh, ppk file so I will select here uh, document under document 
so now I will put the name like technology same name click on save after done just minimize all these things and now click on services under AWS go to EC2 now click on instances now select that instance which you have created like this you have to just check this option and here you will get a option just a second now here you will get a option like a public ip ipv4 address so you have to copy that IP address or you can copy the DNS IPv4 DNS from here. Okay, anyone you have to copy. Now you have to open uh, putty on your computer. Just type putty. This time you have to open putty on your computer. Now you have to paste that IP address over there or host name means DNS name. Okay, now after that you have to expand SSH. Now select auth authentication. Click on browse go to under documents and select that ppk file which you have generated from putty jane okay now click on open and click on open here to click on yes and username is ubuntu now press enter and it will connect to your console after connect to your console you have to set the root password which is the command is called sudo Let me show you. Uh -uh. So the command is sudo space pass wd then root. Press enter. Now put the new password. In my case, I am putting here 123. You can put whatever you want. Now you have to retype the password 123. As you can see, password updated successfully. Now if I will put over there sudo minus space minus and press enter. Then I have to put the password for root 123 which I have already set. Press enter and as you can see I have logged in with root. Okay. So now I have to put some command over there which I will give you on my video description. So before that I have ju I just need to update my uh, Ubuntu Linux machine. So the command is called sudo apt minus gate then update. After that, you just need to put the next command which is sudo apt minus get upgrade press enter press y to continue just press y and enter Now after done this step, you just need to open github or I will give you the command to my video description. So first you need to put this first command to download open VPN installer sh. Just right click and it will copy paste over there on your console. So press enter and after that put the next command which is chmod. Press enter. Now the last command is open VPN install ssh press enter now press enter once again and here is the ipv4 address or host name which is my ip address so press enter and here is showing like ipv4 6 support nat no so go with the default option just press enter then default port enter enter and you can select here like uh, google dns or any dns so if you want to select here google dns then you have to type over the 9 or 11 whatever you want okay now press enter 
Now press enter, enter, then enter once again. So here is a here you need to put the client name. So in this case, I'll put here over there technology. You can put VPN or whatever you want. After that, press enter and now press enter once again and now you're done if you'll type over the ls command it will show you the technology dot ovpn okay file so now i will copy this file under home under v, uh, ubuntu folder okay so the command is called cp space slash sorry cp space technology ovpn this one then space then slash home slash ubuntu okay just uh, just type sorry just type over the slash then h o then press tab it will put automatically then put over the u b then tab it will uh, automatically detect the folder location okay and after that press enter it will copy under this file will copy under home under ubuntu folder okay so now you have to open ubuntu scp okay and you have to put over their host name which is uh here is the host name which is the ip address so just copy from here just click on this button or you can copy like this and after that you have to go to your win scp put the host name username ubuntu go to advance click on authentication under ssh click on this private key browse button and you have to select that uh, uh, ppk file over there this technology which i have already created under uh, documents click on open click on ok now click on login let's see it's working or not so click on yes here So I have successfully connected. So as you can see, here is a folder location which is Ubuntu, sorry, home slash Ubuntu, OVPN. So here is my computer uh, drive folder location which is C under user under test documents. So I will just drag drop this uh, OVPN file to my computer. So drag drop this file to your computer. And now if I'll go to my documents folder, as you can see ovpn file is showing over there so now just minimize this window now open you have to open google.com and after that type over there open vpn so just click on open vpn download and click on community download open vpn and here you will get sorry just uh, open vpn click on download open vpn and after that click on this save button after uh, download completed click on just install this open vpn on your computer open vpn connect to your computer i accept next next install so if you have a mac OS or linux OS, i will also give you that link to my video description so just scroll down here you will get all the version so if you'll click on get open vpn so as you can see here is the linux windows ios version and to download it for android mac OS, linux uh, windows ios also so you can download it from here like i will download from for a windows so i will click over there and it will automatically download the file so i have already installed on my computer so just i will go to my all apps here i need to find a open vpn apps open vpn connect as you can see open vpn connect here's the application so after open the application click on here and here and click on agree then okay after that click on file and now you have to click on browse button so now go to documents under documents and you have to that uh, just select that file which you have downloaded from winscp which is ovpn file 
after select click on open and click on add over there now click on this connect button and it will take some time to connect so you have to wait for a few seconds so as you can see it's connected successfully if i'll go to my uh, speedtest.net speedtest speedtest.net or class speedtest.net so as you can see it's showing like amazon over there and speed is also let me check how much uh, speed i'm getting right now and speed is quite good as you can see so i hope this tutorial will really help for you and if you need more awesome content like this then don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so i will see you guys in the next one next video till then bye bye take care